Why Lily review is here. All right. Now, it's not going to be level 75 anymore, guys. Level 80 is where we're at. How many uh, skill powder do we need? 1,035 of the pristine one. All right, here we go. Holy! It cannot be an ancient without a paragraph of stuff, huh? Goodness gracious. <laughs> Guys, so before we get back into the video, I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is going to be LD Player. So just like always, I've been using LD Player for the longest time now for this channel, playing Cookie Run Kingdom, and it is the best emulator that I have used, allowing me to play not only Cookie Run Kingdom, but other Android games that are going to be available inside of the google play store ld player is amazing guys it is the absolute best emulator that i have used without any problems so far their support is definitely amazing as well they try to fix any problems that come up right away especially for cookie run kingdom but if you guys want to use the emulator like myself and play on your pc then click the link down in the description and download ld player and try it out yourself and enjoy your cookie run kingdom gameplay on your computer all right here we go guys level 80 white lily i am gonna keep it at zero star promotion uh just to see the zero star promoted uh you know white lily cookies stat and the overall uh you know damage and stuff like that and then we will promote her later on uh but she is a bomber cookie so for everybody who thought she was gonna be a support uh guess what she is a bomber uh so here we go guys let's look at the skill effect here Lily Bud, it is going to be a 15 second cooldown. A pure white Lily Bud burst open, dealing periodic damage to enemies and additional damage depending on number of buffs White Lily Cookie has on herself. Enemies affected by the skill will become entangled in vines, becoming unable to move or use skills. Whenever an ally cookie gains a debuff, they will gain the Lily Restoration buff. Once the Lily Restoration reaches a certain number of stacks, it will dispel all current debuffs on the allies and heal them. White Lily Cookie is immune to the spore dispersal and mushroom mutation effects. That is going to be one uh, of the debuffs, all right, or two of the debuffs that are going to take place in Beasties, all right, World Exploration. So, White uh, Lily Bud, periodic damage up to three hits over a span of 1.2 seconds. And single hit damage is 343.6% at level 80. All right. Uh, and the damage relative to max HP. Okay. So we have damage relative to max HP as well. And that is going to be 22.50%. That is wild. All right. That is wild here. Extra damage 15% per one buff on self capped at 500%. Holy moly. All damage resist is 30%. It seems like she gains the damage resist as well here. Um, and then here's the vines here. So vines, uh, enemies ensnared and unable to use skill for 2.5 seconds. That is so long. Holy, 2.5 seconds. Oh, man, that is so long. Dude, the ensnare for frail jellyfish is like a split. Not even a second. This is 2.5 seconds. Effect after Vine's duration is over or target is immune. Movement speed is de uh, decreased by 80% for 8 seconds. Damage is gonna... They're gonna take 25% extra damage and that is gonna stack up to one time. That is the weakness debuff part that we saw. And the damage after Vine's duration is over or the target is immune is still going to be 155% of attack. Lily Restoration passive. Alright, this is a passive. Gain 1 stack per 5 all right, debuff on White Lily Cookie or Allies Restoration, uh, Lily Restoration. Add 21 stacks, dispels allies, debuff, and heal them for 122.9% of attack. And passive, you gain the 30% debuff resist. Dude, that is crazy. You're healing 122.9% of attack as a bomber and dispel? Of course, you need the 21 stacks. So it's kind of a lot. But inside of the arena with the amount of debuffs that are going around, that's honestly, it's going to be easy. All right, here we go. How much damage is that? 125,000. Holy moly. So that's the Lily Restoration right there. All right, here we go, guys. Peace. Here we go. For my queen, For my queen. and boom. Oh my, oh my. 
Intoxicating. It's a little slow, but holy, 1.5 million damage right there. And then we do have the speed slowdown and the weakness debuff as well. So, oh man. So good. Boom. Dude, insane, insane. All right, what other than the arena? Right, what other than the arena? Okay, um, so, and with this, I think, all right, I gotta, Have you felt the sense 123. Of Chose 120. Let's level up everybody here real quick. All right, all level 80 here. Let's see. Let's see here. We get buff from this, buff from this. All right, let's go. Here's the all level 80 team here, guys. Level 80 as well. Let's go. All right, here we go. Let's kind of slow it down here real quick. So we have Fettuccini. Good to take this shot. And look. Oh my. Where'd they go? They just disappeared. They're just gone. Hello? Where are they disappearing to? Because she has weakness debuff as well, right? She she's kind of like Moonlight, but in a different way. I personally think new one shot comps can come out as well. Five point three million damage as a one star promo. Oh my! The, the frost screen just absolutely melted away. All right, how how? Ah, you know, honestly speaking. I want to take this out and I want to put in burnt cheese and see how that one turns out too. With burnt cheese skill at, or buff as well. Maybe even a full on sweet chocolate might even work out for uh, White Lily as well. Well, here we go. Okay. Pretty good damage. Oh my, the, the buffs are just insane, dude. Keep protecting our cookies. Oh, White Lily, don't die, don't die, White Lily. Oh, wait, the timing kind of messes up here. Because I think Fettuccine is not taunting fast enough. Or no, it's not actually no. Finisir is protecting, that's well. Oh, 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 dude. They exploded after the 30 second mark. Adios, bro. Holy. 14 million damage. It's an actual bomb, bro. Holy. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, there's a dialogue right there. Ooh, Silver Bell uses skill first. White Lily. Okay, the he uh, periodic healing is there. The damage is also on the cookies as well. Oh, White Lily, so close to dying, but still alive right there. Silver Bell stun as well. Freeze coming out. Revive. Can we beat this? We shall see. Ooh, that that skill right there from Golden Cheese is gonna be. Oh, the skill still activates even after White Lily dies. But Silver Bell's damage resist actually helped out a lot too. All right, maybe uh we will we can beat this one though. We'll see. Oh, it looks like we're gonna win though. Should be able to win. There we go. Four seconds remaining. All right, so let's try out a one-shot variation with White Lily. Okay, for a jellyfish. Oh, for this year, can't use skill. 
Oh, 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 oh my, oh my goodness. Yo, one shot actually might not be bad. I mean, because there's the entangle in snare and then another entangle and then the vortex and then Captain Cavi just like, explodes them. Holy. I know this is a variation. In order to deal with burnt cheese, I know this is a variation as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to reverse this one again. Just kind of crumble it, but with the Frost Queen. Now, right, here we go. Get rid of that. Freeze. Crambolet gone. And boom. There we go. Yeah, this is kind of what we wanted to see. Yeah, we need the Frost Queen to do the burst damage and freeze as well. So this is a type of ver uh, variation of a comp you can use against like Crambolet or the Burnt Cheese one. Uh, except just make sure they don't have a Golden Cheese. Uh, this is one you could try and use. This is kind of similar to how it is with the Golden Cheese one. Except, I mean, White Lily is just kind of entangling them and the Frost Queen just insane but anyways white lily is absolutely insane uh world exploration gonna be wonderful uh the damage is insane entangle is crazy uh we got weakness debuff uh you know everything is in this thing um and then we got arena you're gonna see some crazy comps come out with white lily especially because of the entangle right now uh, so definitely definitely worth it if you guys can go and pull I will make a video and I'll do the whole calculation on how many of the light of freedoms you're able to get uh, so that you guys can tell whether as a free to play if you're going to be able to go and uh, get her for free as well like if you were super unlucky like I was but definitely meta without a doubt alright so there you go